Today I'm going to walk you through how to use Missouri CaseNet. For those of you who do not know what Missouri CaseNet is, it is essentially an electronic uh, version of court records. And so you can look up certain cases, you can see if cases are filed against you, you can check on the status of those cases electronically without having to, like you did in the olden days, at least for most cases, go to the courthouse and look at the records. So let's start off. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is go to Google or whatever search engine you prefer and type Missouri CaseNet. You'll see it's courts.mo.gov and it'll be the first link that pops up. You'll click that link. Now, what I'm walking you through here today is only going to focus on civil cases. And by a civil case in the context I'm talking about, I'm not talking about criminal cases if you've been charged with a crime or you have a, or a, some type of a traffic ticket. And I'm also not talking about family law cases, although much of what I'm going to walk you through could apply to those cases or domestic disputes, things of that nature. This is generally speaking um, in the context of maybe a lawsuit has been filed against you in a collection case, um, or maybe you want to check on the status of a lawsuit that you filed, uh, Missouri CaseNet can be helpful for that. So. The first thing you can do um, is search by litigant name. And so you can go here and you can type in a um, particular business. So let's type in here Bank of America. You can also type the year in which the case was filed. So let's search for 2021. And if you want to narrow your search more, you can actually search by the county. So you could select St. Louis County, St. Louis City, whatever county you want. And also, you'll see over here, it says all the case type. You've got all appellate, civil, uh, criminal, etc. I usually select civil to better focus um, my search results. And then you'll hit this button on the left that says find. Case that will search and it will come up with some results hopefully here shortly. Sometimes when it's going this slow, it means that you've searched for a, a party that has maybe filed a lot of lawsuits. And so what you can actually do um, is kind of more narrowly focus your search. So here I've searched all participating courts. What I could do is narrow it to, for example, St. Louis County. And so now all limited to Bank of America 2021 civil cases in St. Louis County. I'll hit find. And we'll see what that comes up with. CaseNet's not given uh, me a lot of help here, Terry. Let's see if Cash Link USA gives us any better results. Here you go. So I searched Cash Link USA. It came up with two results. So let's look at these cases. Um, you can look at the cases by clicking on the case number, and that will pull up kind of a header of, of the case. It'll have right here the case number and then the style of the case, which just means who is suing who. Here it's Cash Link USA versus Mr. Lewis. Um, the case header will tell you the judge to whom the case has been assigned, where the case is pending here in St. Louis County. Um, It'll tell you the general nature of the case. Here it says suit on account, just means basically a, a lawsuit that concerns a debt essentially, and the date file, which is February 8th of 2021. If you hit the parties tab up here, um, you can see who's representing, for example, the plaintiff in this case. Um, you can see that who the defendant is, if they have a lawyer or not. The next tab, the docket entries tab, will show you everything that's going on. Here you can see that a lawsuit was filed, and you can see that a summons has been issued. And what a summons is, is it's basically um, a, a document that's issued by the clerk that is included with the lawsuit papers to be served on someone that tells them what the date and time of the next court date is. So the next tab is charges, judgments, and sentences. That tab doesn't generally apply to civil cases because civil cases um, don't have charges and sentences uh, or, or judgments in the criminal context. There are judgments here in the civil context. We'll talk about those in a second. Um, service information will tell you uh, the date issued and then also um, the due date, the return date for the summons. 
filing due, that's generally a tab that I don't use. Scheduling hearing, scheduled hearings and trials um, is a very important tab because you can look here and see if you've been served with the lawsuit, for example, when your first court date is or when your next court date is. And here you can see it's on March 15th of this year and it tells you the time, 9 a.m. and it tells you the judge, it's Judge Hearn in this case. Um, the civil judgments tab will tell you if there's been a judgment entered in the case. This is a newly filed case, so there is no judgment. But there you can see the, the amount of the judgment, the date it was entered, etc. And the garnishments and executions tab will tell you if there's been any garnishments issued. And sometimes that tab will actually tell you uh, how much has been issued from each garnishment. Um, so we went through the litigant name tab. Let's talk about some of the other tabs. If you have a case number, uh, you can search by uh, a case number that you want and you can immediately pull up that particular case. Um, and so here you'll see the case. You can see, again, scheduled hearings and trials. There's no judgment entered in this case, so there's not going to be anything in that tab. But it's the same process. It's just a different different search mechanism. Before you were searching by the name of the party in the lawsuit, now you're searching by case number. Um, the other thing you can do with CaseNet is if you're curious about what cases were filed just generally in a particular place, like for example St. Louis County, um, you can do a seven day search for all the cases that have been pending and you can narrow it by civil, criminal, etc. And see all the cases that were filed from in this case January 1st 2021 until January 8th and you can see here there's 53 pages of lawsuits you can click through each of those see what they concern if it's a case that concerns you again you can check on the status of it so those are some ways that uh, you can use Missouri case that that can be helpful for you if you have any questions about how to use Missouri case net or you have any problems with it feel free to reach out I appreciate you listening thanks so much